mother was a pediatrician and neonatologist herself, so that left me to be exposed to all her textbooks that were sitting on the bookshelf, and I must admit some of the photographs of medical conditions might seem a little disgusting or alarming, but my twin brother and I were entertained by it, and, and interestingly, he and I are both physicians to this day. I uh, chose to go into pediatrics because that is where I felt most comfortable. Well, the challenge of being a parent is you never know necessarily what your child would bring for you to do that day. And that's actually one of the things I like about my job, not knowing what to expect because the surprises can be the most enjoyable thing. Um, some surprises aren't good, some unfortunate diagnoses come about, but far more often, the end result ends up being good. <laughs> more or less, they are a clean slate, okay? Uh, they have their whole lives ahead of them. But I, I think, moreover, I'm most impressed with their resilience. Uh, they may not be born hypochondriacs, but even though they may not necessarily worry about their health, they're remarkably resilient, and they fight through whatever uh, they may have. Uh, a child may come in with an ear infection, and you know, one child may be crying, but the other child is just not looking well, but is obviously trying to pull herself together, and lo and behold, she's got an ear infection. I also appreciate the chance to work with uh, parents because I, I think that they're looking for advice on how to do uh, uh, you know, what they're doing, and there's no one right way to do anything, but if they're coming here to the office for a visit, they want help and they want advice, and, and I, I hope I've made a difference in their lives uh, afterward.